Welcome to CBS Houston Online. Sex, relationships, yeah, that's what we're talking about. I'm Anna Megan Rayleigh here with me, the expert, Mary Jo Rapini, psychotherapist in Houston. Talks this stuff really, really well. Mary Jo, here's a topic that you've heard, I've heard, everybody's heard. TV, movies, conversations, locker room talk, the women that don't put out. Right. Why is this common? Well, I think it's common because women know that that's what guys want. And there's something that inside of women that makes them think if they give it too freely, that you, the guys won't respect her. And many times that's true. And it, it shows in reality if a, if a woman comes on easily, if she's easy, guys talk about how easy she was because guys really do like the chase. However, what happens long term with that is women start using sex as a weapon. And then all of a sudden, because they know it's the one way to get the guy's attention, they'll usually be like, not tonight, not tonight. Or they'll start, they'll start using it at more opportune times. And what happens to the guy is he starts feeling more and more rejected and less and less needed. And many times, this is the decline in the relationship. Well, what do you tell the women? And I think women as a whole know right. they've got this weapon, this power, this way to manipulate a man. Well, what do you tell them? Because in the long run, they're hurting their own relationships. They're going to need to know something and be able to prevent that. Right. Well, what I usually start out telling women is, you know, yes, it, it, is, it is a power. But to, to be in full control of a power, you have to claim it. You have to understand your own sexuality. And more than a weapon, sex is healthy. So you have to find a way to get your health needs met with sexuality, not punish another person with it, but to be able to be assertive enough when you're hurt or you want something more from your man that you tell them, this is what I need. Or when you said that, this is how I felt. Rather than using sex as something that you can say, okay, none of this because you were rude to me earlier. And women do that all the time. And guys respond all the time. They usually end up telling the woman they're sorry. So guys, why don't you step up to the plate and when she says her feelings are hurt, apologize right away, and then maybe you'll be having sex in a couple hours. Let me give you a hypothetical situation. Actually, it's a real situation, but I can't drop names. Okay. A man who is kind to his wife. They do get along mm -hmm. great. They enjoy each other's company, but... Intercourse is not something that is a part of their lives very often, and I mean extremely, you know, rare situations. Mm -hmm. He's doing everything right. Right. But what else can he do? Well, I think many times when women feel like that, it's not really the relationship at all. It's something medical because there are medical illnesses that can cause a low libido for men and women. And so in cases like that where the couple is close and they do feel like they're communicating well on an emotional level, sex still not good, then I would go to the doctor. And for both man, men and women, a urologist is the doctor of choice because they, if you find a urologist that specializes in sex dysfunction, many times they'll find what your OBGYN or your general practitioner cannot. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And I know, Mary Jo, you have... So much more information about this. Go to MaryJoRapini.com and you can yeah. learn more about that. We'll see you next time.